This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents What better way to kick off the weekend than with a little Martian glass? Yeah, you heard me. If we will just internet zip zap fly teleport over to the universe today, our internet's friend, the internet's own Jason Major, gives us an article on ancient Martian life. Ancient Martian life may be preserved in glass. Just yesterday, I made the unofficial announcement that Thor of Thor News, which is me, believes science will find some semi-concrete evidence of other life in the universe before the end of 2015. And the very next day, which is today, I just checked Universe Today, and Jason Major has an article on they may have already found life. Duh. In this particular instance, in Martian glass. That's right. When comets or asteroids that are large hit a planet, they usually hit a fast, a cosmic bullet, bang! And this bullet creates an explosion, much like a nuclear atomic, atomical atom neutron bomb. <laughs> Everything gets so hot, it melts. So when comets or asteroids hit Mars before, it created Martian glass out of the material that was in the detonation. And so Martian life may be trapped in that glass. You know, we might have already retrieved some glass, and uh, who knows, you know? Government knows what it's doing when it takes the steps to inform us what we need to know, you know? That's why I pay them the big bucks, man. So that's cool. We may have found Martian life in, a, in an exoplanet snow globe created by celestial mother nature. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, maybe they didn't find life already, but they're saying possibly if we retrieve some Martian glass with one of our super cool robots, we got like five or six floating around Mars, riding around, rolling around, jetpacking around. Maybe then we might find some Martian life, if Mars ever did have life. That is an aqua green blue looking crater on the orange planet, or red planet. I'm colorblind. When large asteroids or comets strike the Earth, as they have countless times throughout our planet's history, the energy released in the event creates an enormous amount of heat, enough to briefly melt rock and soil at the impact site. That molten material quickly cools, trapping organic material and bits of plants and preserving them inside fragments of glass for tens of thousands, even millions, possibly even billions, and extra not possibly, but possibly even trillions, well, quadrillions, I don't know, man, of years. Researchers researching were studying the impact debris on Earth they think that the same thing could very well have happened on Mars. Yep, that's right. And that any evidence for ancient life on the red planet might be found by looking inside the glass. Inside the looking glass? Why am I having third grade flashbacks? Tennessee Williams. Somebody give some whiskey so I can... Stella! Wrong novel. Wrong great American novel. My bad. A research team led by Pete Schultz, a geologist at Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, has identified the remains of plant materials trapped inside impact glass found at several different sites scattered across Argentina. Argentina. According to a university news release issued Friday, April 18th. Hey, that's today. Hey, that's today. Weird. Melt Brasillas from two impact events in particular dating back three and nine million years were discovered to contain very well-preserved fragments of vegetation. Eventually, we all become vegetation. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Blood to mud, I guess. Melt brasillas from two impact events in particular. Dating back... Oh, I read that. Crap. These glasses preserve plant morphology from macro features all the way down to the micron scale. It's really quite remarkable, remarked scientist, geologist, guy who I guess wants to be a extra planet archaeologist, geologist, like a Buck Rogers, Indiana Jones. Hey man, that sounds super cool. Providing not only samples of ancient organisms, but also snapshots of the local environment from the time of events. These glasses preserve, oh, I read that. Crap. Mars experienced many large impact events in its early history. 
just like Earth. Schultz believes that the same process that trapped once living material in Erg, Gentina's Pampas region, which is covered with wind blown Mars like sediment. Wait, wind blown? What else blows? You know? Is, is there anything else that blows other than wind? My mind's drawing a blank. Anybody, anything, anything else blow? You know, man, seems odd to say wind blow when wind is the only thing that really blows. All right, I'm going to beat that Martian horse to death. Mars-like sediment, especially in the West, may have occurred on Mars, preserving any early organics located at and around the impact sites. Impact glass. Maybe where the four billion year old signs of life are hiding, Schultz said. On Mars, they're probably not going to come out screaming in the form of a plant. What? But we may find traces of organic compounds, which would be really exciting. Natural public transportation to Mars takes about nine months and is unavailable. If you hang out with Jared Leto, you can get there in 30 seconds. All right, sounds like a plan. Fly to Mars, grab some impact glass, find signs of life. But try not to release any Martian organisms that are really going to screw shit up. Just like I mentioned last night on my Twitter. Nano aliens with macro guns, man. Sounds like Saturday Night Live skit to me. More than a sci-fi Attack from Mars type film. Man, I bet Tim Burton had fun making Attack from Mars. It was a beautiful disaster. It was a masterpiece of a flop, Mr. Burton. Yeah, Mars. Alien life. Martian glass. Man, I wonder how much a Martian glass blown pipe. Oh, you can blow glass. Duh. Now I'm bad. I should go back and take all that other crap out. I just figured out the answer to my own question. I don't know, maybe there's something else that blows other than glass and wind. You tell me. Do you need a space suit on Mars? Or do they have space pills now? I don't know, man. Martian glass. That's going to be the name of my band. I bet it's already taken. Yeah, I don't want that name anyways. Jupiter glass? No, that doesn't sound good. Now comes the part in the video where I read what other dudes wrote. And then, I make jokes. And say out loud the wildest, craziest, John Belushiest, Bill Murrayest, Mitch Hedbergiest ideas I can think of. Sometimes I fail and I end up like David Hasselhoff trying to be funny. And then I just frown, put on my red leather jacket, my parachute pants, and I moonwalk out of there. That's what I'm doing right now. God bless everyone. Have a great good Friday and a great weekend. Well, if the sun used to be bigger and hotter, that would mean we were like Mercury. And Venus would be next to have life. And that Venus would be next to have life, or would that mean... Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Or maybe it does. Crack. Anyways, right now... What? If I get a bunch of Martian glass, can I get... Okay, yeah, okay. Nah, that's all good. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I should have a new segment at the end of the videos where I just sit there and talk to myself and ramble on about nothing. Nope, that would be stupid. Come on, baby. Dry your eyes. Let's go home. We are past Olympus moans. Now give me some sugar, darling.